Hi there, and welcome to the last, but not least, Section 5. In this section, you'll discover the tools which will help you to debug and improve it. We will look at how Java Console works in a browser. We will also peek into WebRTC internals. As you should already know, WebRTC is a technology for browsers, so you will find in this browser almost all the debugging tools you need. In the first video, we are going to see the browser console. This is not a specific tool for WebRTC, but it provides detailed information about the load process, files, delays, and the JS which is executing in the page. So this tool will be a great help. Then we'll dive into the WebRTC internal page, which gives all the information you need about the WebRTC sessions which are established in the browser. This page will be really useful to find out why your WebRTC is not working as expected. Finally, we're going to check both tools during a video conference using our app. Both Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome offer a very helpful console. You can open it by just right-clicking on any element of the web page. Right-click and inspect element or going to the Chrome menu and selection with the More Tools option and JavaScript console. The way to access the tool in Firefox is almost the same. You can click on the right button and select Inspect Element. Or you can go to the menu and select any of the first server options in the Developer menu. When developing WebRTC applications, the most relevant will be the JavaScript console, where the browser will show all the JavaScript errors which may happen during the use of the WebRTC API. It is useful to add console messages in your code to be able to detect when the error happens. On the other side, there are some stats given by the WebRTC API, and Chrome and Firefox take an advantage on that fact, passing them and putting them entirely at your disposition to check what's going on with your streams. For instance, I'm going to set up a log when user is being asked to access camera or microphone's permission. Let's do it. OK, let me open my app.js file. So I'm going to put log as soon as the success callback of got stream is being called. Let's call this success callback is being called. I will just save the file. Let's go to Chrome and check it out. You can right click, go to Inspect Element, go to Console, and as soon as I say Allow, there it is. Besides String, we can also log variables. Besides, we can visit WebRTC Internals tab. We can go to Chrome colon slash slash WebRTC Internals. Here we can see much information like the caller origin and the process ID. If the streams are being passed, you will see more information about the peer connection. You will see graphs, statistics and lots of things. In this video, we've learnt about the two main tools provided by the browsers that we want to make the life of the WebRTC developers easier. In the next video, we'll focus on the consoles surfing the different functionalities they provide as events listening, dynamic code or HTML code access.